Wow. Hi, Wood. Hey, Chantel. This is my dog, Thelma Lou. Thelma Lou. What yeah. a good country name, girl. Give me a kiss. Mm. <laughs> So thanks hey, well, for doing let's this. Let's just talk about. Yeah. So tell us, tell people where we are. Well, we're in the parking lot of RCA Studio A building. Okay. Which is also the stu studio RCA Studio B. Okay. Home of a thousand hits, including Down at the End of Lonely Street. Home, yeah. Hot Brick Hotel. Uh -huh. All that early Elvis stuff was cut in there. So what year did you come to Nashville? I came to Nashville in 1976 okay. and I immediately uh, within about six months got signed to Deb Dave Briarpatch which was Jim Malloy, mm -hmm. his son uh, David Malloy, the great producer, songwriter, mm -hmm. and um, Eddie Rabbit. Oh really? And then, but, it, but then they signed me as an artist to Electra Records and that was the label that Eddie was on. Uh -huh. Also the label that Jackson Brown and the Eagles and uh, gosh, and they released, everybody. You released a couple of songs. I had one album yeah. on that. So tell me about the the idea behind what it's not what I did, it's what I did so do. Are we going? Okay. We're going, yep. That, I actually had the title because I was kind of the class cut up and I was I'll never forget I was in geometry class and the teacher header was doing something on the blackboard mm -hmm. and the class cracked up about something and she turned around and she looked right at me she said wood and I said I didn't do nothing she said it's not what you did, it's what you didn't do. Oh. And everybody cracked up about that because I was in a little bit, she liked me though anyway. <laughs> and for some reason, that just stuck with me. You know, the idea, and then Mike Noble uh, had been home on vacation. He's from Illinois, Freeport, mm -hmm. Illinois, I believe. And he came back and he's such a great guitar player. Yeah, he's a great guitar player. player, yeah. And he started playing a little, some music and I just, I knew that that phrase would fit in there, and once once that we started writing about a relationship, you know, it, I didn't cheat and I didn't lie. Mm -hmm. So her leaving took me by surprise. I mean, it's still, I'm, it chokes me up to think about it. Yeah, you know, these songs, I was... if, if they don't choke you up, maybe maybe it's not going to choke anybody else. So yeah. that's one of the ways I know I'm on to something. It's, didn't cheat and I didn't lie so her leaving took me by surprise just a note on the table saying we're through her style went crazy so it took me some time but I finally read between the lines it's not what I did, it's what I didn't do. People don't know that you um, carve a lot, and you I do a lot of woodworking. I carve, and I do it mainly for myself, or I donate things. Uh, the, the Music Health Alliance is this wonderful organization that helps people, in the professionals in the music business, yep. helps them with their medical situation, because a lot of them you know this is a type of fist feast or famine business you know let's talk about bobby sue that you wrote with adele and dan yeah and Tyler. how did that husband and wife well dan did... actually had the idea yeah. and we had written together we had written been writing a bunch of stuff together and he had a little boy and you know what's the first word of a baby says is ba 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 the father from a friend of mine he said she lived across the county line The sweetest grape that ever grew on the vine And now that's where I'm spending all my time Her daddy Robert and her mama Lou They had a daughter they named Bobby Sue And now she's 18 and she knows the truth Nobody's gonna tell her what to do ba 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 Bobby Sue can't, can't you see my love is true? I want to ma 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 marry you. Ba 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 
on the 35th anniversary a couple of years ago. And oh. that night, for that night only, it was Wood and Oak Ridge Boys. Oh, really? That's a good name for a group, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Did, was that at the Opry? Yeah. You sang that? What's oh, yeah. it like? What was it like to step on stage and everybody was singing well, along? Well, it was just chill bumps and so much fun. So what about the sensation of watching one of your songs go up the chart? First of all, you're, it's been played because it's been chosen out of millions of songs yeah. to be played at that time. And on a any given station there's thousands of people the audience is huge yeah you don't see them but you know they're there you know um so it's that universal connection connecting with people and, and it means a lot 